how is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a uh, Stone beer. It's been forever since I reviewed a beer from Stone as we don't really get much of their uh, newer stuff in uh, Alberta right now. We used to get them all the time um, but uh, I haven't really seen anything new there so kind of sad about that. I really do enjoy uh, Stone's beers and um, yeah I miss them you know. Uh, yeah. Today's beer is going to be one I've never heard of. Um, it was uh, released, I think, like nine, ten days ago, something like that. So super fresh. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this beer is supposed to be. All I know is it's called a Scorpion Bowl IPA. Picked it up at their uh, um, World Bistro location out here in um, uh, Point Loma area. And uh, yeah, had a great uh, dinner of like a car, car cuttery, charcuterie board, a um, bunch of like liver, a um, bunch of like a, a duck prosciutto, stuff like that on it. Really, really delicious. But um, yeah, onto the beer. 7.5% alcohol by volume, a striking punch of hoppy tropicality. Um, yeah, don't know what hops they're using, don't know what style this is supposed to be, but Based on the appearance on this one, probably a West Coast IPA. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. I am on the West Coast. I should be reviewing some West Coast IPAs. Um, yeah, crystal clear, beautiful orange color to this one. Uh, sorry about that. That squeaking on the glass there. Yeah, gross. But uh, yeah, <laughs> just sends shivers down my spine. But uh, yeah. Um, crystal clear beautiful color to it a finger of the bone white kind of head really a uh, bubbly maybe a hint of alcohol legs on that which is surprising for 7.5 percent but uh yeah looks good let's get an aroma wow very tropical there's that classic dank resinous piney um, West Coast IP, IPA thing, that grapefruit. But there's a really like soft tropical fruit note, like an Asian fruit of some sort. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, that smells awesome. Um, that smells like a candle or something, you know? Yeah, wicked, wicked stuff. For the love of hops, let's get on with the tasting. Cheers. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful bitterness to the beer. It starts front of the tongue and then vanishes. Just the perfect amount of bitterness. Holy crap. Mouth feels phenomenal. It's a light. It's crisp, but it's got the smoothness to it. Super crushable. 7.5%. Like that's definitely got lots of flavor, but there's a huge crushability to this beer. Stone knows how to make a really crushable West Coast IPA, and I absolutely dig that. Um, yeah, flavor-wise. That classic West Coast. If you've had a West Coast IPA, if you've had Stone's IPAs, you know what I'm talking about. That grapefruit bitterness, that slight aggressiveness, but still really um, pleasant kind of uh, hoppiness to the beer. Um, yeah, and then in the background, that like tin or uh, uh, thing of tropical fruit in the background there. Um, yeah, if I were to put a uh, name on the flavor I'm tasting, I'd say something like lychee. Uh, yeah, straight up like lychee jackfruit, that slight bubblegummy Asian kind of uh, fruit flavor, you know. It's awesome. It's very good uh, IPA. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Um, if I can find any more information on this beer, I'll leave it in the uh, description below because I have literally no idea what this is supposed to be. All I know is delicious. So definitely pick up Scorpion Bowl IPA. Um, let me know what y'all think of this beer, this uh, video. If you liked it, um, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And until the next time, cheers, everybody.